Welcome back, friends, to another exciting day of Let's Playing. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Reventure. I know very little about it other than there are 100 endings to this game. So let's just jump right in. I've had my eye on it for quite a while, but just haven't quite had the time to get around to it. it seems really nifty. Um, year one, day one. Everything started as a pretty normal day in Tim's life. Okay, so I'll come clean with you. As I turned on this game for the first time and was just kind of seeing, you know, if my computer could run it, if there were any troubles or anything, I idled for a little while and accidentally got one of the endings. So we're going to go ahead and just do that now because I thought it was pretty funny. If memory serves correctly, I was in the middle of setting things up. My wife came over and started talking to me and kind of lost track of time. And then um, as we were talking, we looked over at the laptop and, uh, well, you'll see what I mean, what happens uh, in just a moment. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I think it was about three minutes? Maybe? I don't know. Regardless, I think it's pretty clear that the graphics in Reventure... I mean, we'll analyze what we can while we're just sitting here doing nothing. The graphics in Reventure are, are extremely simplistic, almost Realm of the Mad God-esque. Um, but I don't think that's really the point. The point isn't necessarily a graphical uh, accomplishment or even necessarily important to the game itself. Um, as long as it runs correctly and gives us a world where we can have up to a hundred different endings, who cares, right? Uh, I'm running out of things to say, though. We, I literally don't know anything else about the game other than uh, we'll get an ending if we just sit here. Uh, how are you? Did you watch the uh, marathon Let's Plays um, that I recently put out? If not, it's fine. You're not missing anything completely amazing. There were evil AIs. Oh my gosh, three minutes takes so long when you're, um, when you're trying desperately to find something to say. Okay, is that a Pope over there? A Pope and a rock. Uh, our character appear- oh, here we go, alright. It seems someone left without pausing the game. This is hilarious, because that's exactly what happened the first time I did this. Without proper care and adventure, Tim soon tired. I hope your little break was good. Someone died because of your little chat or bathroom break. Away from Kingdom! Ending number 59 of 100. Well, there we go. Our first ending. Only 96.22% of heroes made it this far. That is... That is so sad. That means, like... 3 point, what, 6, 8 percent of people who bought this have never even played it? From the ashes of your guilt, a new hero was born. Oh my goodness, we're, uh, we're different. Okay. I guess we're made of, um, I think we're made of ash now. Are we more floaty? Oh my gosh, we float? Look, he flaps his little arms. I think we float now. Is that a rock? I'm not even sure. Uh... Alright. Oh gosh, these graphics. Wait, what? What? Okay. We can go out there, apparently. What if we can get an ending for jumping off? No, because we float. We can't die from... from landing on something. Alright, let's do the normal thing. I feel like... I feel like the normal thing would be come over here and talk to the... the king. The Dark Lord has taken the princess to his fortress to the east. Grab the legendary sword to the west and fulfill your destiny, Ash. Please, Ash, hurry and bring my daughter back. Take this item and protect you on your journey. Alright, how do we get this? You got the shield. Alright. A little bit of, uh... Sorry, Ash, we raised the bridge to prevent attacks from the Dark Army. I can't let you pass without a weapon. This is very much like, uh, Zelda, right? Ocarina of Time. Alright. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Simple enough. I guess we'll do the... We'll try and do some of the, like, uh, what I would consider the normal endings. Although, what is this? Ash called the Hero Agency for a substitute, but the line 
had technical issues set up with the Twitch streamer. What? I have no idea what that is about. Okay, they said the sword was in the west. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I think that Twitch thing messed with my recording. One second. Okay, we're back. That was pretty funny. Uh, it's no surprise I use OBS to record... Oop. We got the Sword of Legend. I use OBS to record uh, my videos, and I think... Oh, crap. Sword of Legend, light as the wind in the hands of the worthy hero. Uh, hero, let the weight of justice fall on the forces of evil. It's dangerous to go alone. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we killed the old man! Ash was so eager to try his new sword, he couldn't wait for some minion to appear and stab the elder at the other end of the cave. He also stole his wallet. What a moron. Uh, it's dangerous to be near Ash, ending 1 of 100. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, only 9 to 1 percent. Four years later. A lot of time is passing. Year 5, day 50, 19. Ash spent a long time in prison for that murder. After being released back into the streets, he considered changing his name in the options menu to improvise, to improve his personal brand. In the Wait, can we do that? Hold on. What is it? I don't see anything. The options menu. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just try that again. We'll just grab this and go back and get our sword and not stab the old man. That's some that's some heavy metagaming. Uh, the <laughs> knowing the players. Oh no! Wait, what? Huh? Anyway, heavy metagaming, knowing that the players would. Uh, Stab the old man. Alright, here. It was so the old man just says it's dangerous to go alone. What is this? Oh! Gosh darn it. Yeah, okay, that was my bad. Yes, 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 we've already gotten that. What's it mean? Ninety-one point nine. We, we've we've um we didn't accomplish anything. How did our number go up? I think I have to start using the D-pad. Oh my gosh, we're a lot faster without the shield. It looks like we take damage instead. Okay, let's not stab this guy. Oh. Okay. A shovel. How do we switch here? I'm not sure how to switch. Oh. Okay. What the? Is this not lava? I guess it's just stone. Okay. Uh, do not dig here. You have been warned. Wait. Why are we doing this? It said don't do it. Just a little more. Magnificent pixels. Ah, 
Ash closed his eyes and remembered the treacherous signpost as he fell into the bottomless pit. Ironically, since there was no bottom or impact, he just starved to death. Gold Rush, ending 10 of 100. All right. Well, good to know we're better than 11.41% uh, of all adventurers. Nightmares about endless falls were pretty common in Ash's family. Ash woke up when he heard the guard outside. Wait, <laughs> we're called... We're called Ash, but we look like a human. All right. Uh, I gotta take a quick pause. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry about the constant pausing. Um, for whatever reason, uh, OBS does not interact nicely with this game. I noticed there was a bit of lag in the recording. Uh, but most of it came through. I apologize. Hopefully, I messed with some of the settings here. I'm hoping that we get a clearer picture now. Anyway... Oh, we can't get up there now. The shield's too heavy. We can't jump as- I don't- I don't like this shield. It makes us run slower, it's heavy. Can't jump as high. I guess it makes us immune to guys like these, though. Oh well. So I notice we're- we're flappy, even though we've- We're back in a human body. So to say, what does this guy say? He just always says his name is good alone. All right, we got our sword of legend and the shield. Let's go grab the shovel. Okay. Oh man, we are we're really slow now. Look at the we can't jump. Okay. Um. Wow. We really can't jump. Wait, what? Oh no! We killed the bishop! Or the guard or something. Uh oh. Ash removed the legendary sword from the stone, stone just to put it inside a friendly guard. He was arrested and publicly executed under the charges of being an asshole. Oh, that's good. Number four of a hundred. Only 97 more to go, guys. Alright. Six days later. That wasn't very long. Ash was a psycho. God, what he deserved. The day after his execution, his brother decided to pick up where he left off and fulfill the prophecy. Who are we now? Who's this guy? Tinku? Wait, what? We just tripped over a rock! Tinku? What is that supposed to be like? Tingle? From uh, Majora's Mask? That day, Tinku tripped over a rock right after leaving his house and fell right on his face. The guard in front really questioned if this was indeed the hero the kingdom needed. Shit happens, number two of a hundred. Yeah, Tinku was probably not the hero that the world wanted, but perhaps it was the he was the hero that the world deserved. Oh, uh, such a stupid fall. Tinker's face looked flatter than before, and that's really saying something given how pixelated it already was. He'll watch his step next time he goes outside. I mean, should we? Okay. <laughs> what is this corpse? Oh! Oh, I think we just pulled the sword out of the guard. Okay. Um, well, what if we just kill the king? Death to the king! All hail K King Tinku! As the previous ruler finished his term, the kingdom entered an era of prosperity. <laughs> oh, but then the guard killed him. Quite briefly, because Tinku's idea quickly became popular. <laughs> Kingslayer. Alright. 
Um, I assume killing different guards probably doesn't change the uh, ending. Tinku the Brief recovered from the injuries of a murder attempt. To spare his life, he swore loyalty to the new king, much to his humiliation. That's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh! The king, the uh, the line of uh, kings is here. Okay. What does this guy say? Taking the princess. Yeah, he says to go grab the legendary sword. We don't want the shield. The shield is lame. In fact, let's not even take the sword. It seems like when you pick up items, you get slowed down. We're totally going in this chimney. Tinky jumped into the chimney, ready to share the spirit of Christmas and gift copies of Revenger. Everyone loved the game and left an 11 out of 10 review. Subliminal message ending 30 of 100. Ah. Uh, now we're gonna get to- we get to play as Santa. This is so silly, but I love it. After receiving overwhelming <laughs> reviews from everyone about his game, Tinku was filled with motivation and ready for a new quest. Alright. Well, I don't want the sword or the shield. It didn't really seem like there was anything we could do up here. Although there's... can we... how do we get in there? It seems like there's a room. Looks like maybe a door on the other side. A cat! Meow. What's this? Oh. You got... Mr. Hugs? Okay. Mr. Hugs unlocks the hidden powers of love, but forbids the use of violence. Oh, we hugged a cat. Right after adopting Polov, Tinku kept filling his heart with the love of missing cats. Unfortunately, he also filled his throat with hairballs and eventually choked to death in his bed. Uh, Alright. Cool, cool. Uh, maybe we should go... Wait, six days later, how did... How did Tinku live? Every cat in the kingdom cried for the loss of Tinku. Paula swore to take over his will and prepared for a new adventure. Oh my gosh, we're a cat! Meow! <laughs> wow. There's a cat up there now. I love that I didn't expect this game to keep track of everything that you had done previously. Um, like, I expected it to just be a game where you kept playing as the same character and tried to find different ways to do anything, but the continuity in this is hilarious. Um, I guess we'll grab Mr. Hugs again. We'll try and hug a guard. Um, Polov jumped into the arms of the guard, but landed on the spear he was wielding. The guard didn't move an inch as Polov's heart was impaled. How professional! Broken heart, 19 of 20. Poor cat. I just wanted to be a cat. Okay. How... How is this going to play out again? Having such powerful jumping skills can get troublesome sometimes. Paul have readjusted his effusiveness and got ready for the adventure once again. Wait, we're Paul of, but we're a human. I, I'm confused. Also, what is, what is this thing we have? Oh, he has a spear sticking out of him. All right, so Paul of, for no reason, turned back into a human. That's fine. Alright, we'll grab, uh, Mr. Hugs here again. We can go hug a bad guy. Wait! I told you you can't pass! Ignore that heroic music and step down here! Never! Oh, no. I wanna hug one of these guys. I think we did. 
Those shiny eyes. Those tiny feet. <laughs> those minions were too cute for Paula to resist. Unfortunately, they severely damaged him on contact. So it wasn't the best idea to give one a hug. Alright. Oh my goodness, we're only 10% through the game. Paul have spent weeks in bed, recovering from the brutal allergy reaction, but those minions were so cute, it was totally worth it. We still have a spear sticking out of us. Oh, we should go hug the old man. See if that does anything. I we can hug... can't hug fire. We're probably going to get very tired of <clears throat> walking through this area. Hey, old man. Paul have listened to the words of the elder and finally realized what they really meant. It wasn't dangerous to go alone anymore. Oh, gosh. Sexy beard. Oh boy. Uh, I think that's all of the... Oh, we can hug the king! Of course. Uh, even the elder was too hot for Polov. Right after dumping our hero, he left the shopkeeper. Polov found himself once again alone in his little house. Alright. Okay. Oh, this is the princess's room. I didn't even notice that the um, the description would change like that. Okay, let's go hug the king. <clears throat> Paulo jumped into the arms of the king and gave him an epic kiss. Everyone in the room felt <laughs> awkward and unsure of what to do. They slowly started to walk away to give the monarch some privacy. Oh. Uh, Alright. I think now we, uh... I think now we we grab the sword and try and try an adventure. Pavlov, Pavlov was now the queen of the realm, but that didn't mean he could abandon his good old job as hero. <laughs> We're princess now. All right, let's go. I don't know. Should we even get the sword? We can just go grab the shovel instead. Ooh, how did we get up there? How did I never notice that nest? Oh well. Okay, we got our shovel. Oh, we're too fat. Can't jump anymore. Hopefully, we can make it back up here. Oh, what's this? The path of the hero continues past the sword. What? No! Great, now we really can't jump. Oh, we can go over here. I don't want to go there, I want to go up the mountain. We're on top of the world! Well, there is an egg here. Perhaps... Should we go get Mr. Hugs and hug the egg? I hope we just jump over here. I feel like this is... This is odd. This is the longest... <laughs> We're on the wall now. 
As long as we haven't either gotten murdered or killed somebody. I guess we'll just grab the shield. And, um... Keep going to the right. Oh, I, I see you carry the legendary sword. I'll lower the bridge. This will murder people. Oh no! I didn't mean to kill the guard. Awkward. It's probably just going to be the same ending as before. Yeah. I think the fact that we were able to skip it meant it was the same. Queen Pavlov, yeah, Queen Pavlov was a psycho. Queen Pavlov. Queen Pavlov, who used to be a cat but magically turned into a human after getting stabbed by a spear, went on a hugging spree. All right, but seriously, we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab Mr. Hugs and see if we can hug the egg. I can't figure out if Mr. Hugs counts as an item. I think we're moving a little slower. So it probably counts against uh, our weight. No, we didn't want the sword. Okay, we can't actually hug the egg. Uh, also, like they said, the hugs overrides the sword, so we can't fight. Which is fine. Let's go swimming. Huh. Kind of expected us to die or something. Maybe we sit here long enough. The shop. Yeah, this is the guy who ran off with the elder. I'm totally 100 out of percent out of stock. Sorry, no stuff for you. We'll hug the shopkeeper. Queen Paula entered the shop with a disturbing look and jumped over the table right into the shopkeeper. He grabbed his neck until it snapped. Then he established a free hug shop so he could express his complex emotions with any customers. It's the old man again. Free hugs. Well, alright then. We probably have time for one more ending. Queen Paula was getting tired of hugging everyone and decided to make a turn in his life. Time for a new adventure! Okay, I feel like we should just skip the sword, like, jump past it. Yeah, like that. I don't like being weighed down. Looks like a drawbridge. Can we jump over this? No. What? Free hugs! Oh, what's this? How do I get up there? We should be way down, so it's not like... Oh, there's a red button. We have to push it. What the? Weird. Looks like we need a crown. Apparently our queen's crown is not enough. Okay. you. Hi, I'm Juan, one of the creators of this world. I'm just enjoying the views. Oh, now we have to go- oh my gosh, we have to go back, get the, uh... Oh my gosh, how do we do this? Clearly there must be a way to jump higher somewhere. Uh, this cannon is aimed at the Dark Fortress for express delivery. Please don't touch it. Oh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> what? Well, that's uh, that's quite a quite a look at the world. 
I'm just gonna swim over here. Well, we're in the Dark Fortress, dressed in drag, with no sword or shield. We also just closed the door, which doesn't seem helpful. Maintenance personnel only. Alright. Whoa. Maintenance personnel only. Huh. You guys just sitting there. Uh, please don't try to rescue the princess while I'm away. The Dark Lord. This... this button has to kill us. Oh no! We'll just check the edge of the wall here, see if there's anything. Oh. I totally expected that thing to kill us. Wait, what? You got the one-ton anvil? What? What? Queen Paulov couldn't resist the temptation of adding that sexy anvil to his inventory and fell right into the infamous anvil yard. He survived the fall for a few seconds until the anvil crushed his adventurous skull into adventurous tiny pieces. Fair. Fair. Alright, well, 14 endings. 96 more left. Uh, I'm sure we'll have fun picking it up from there on our next video. Thank you for watching. Um, was that a nightmare? It felt pretty real. Paulov wasn't sure, but he decided to, wait, to stay away from anvils for a while, just in case. Um, we have an anvil for a head. We'll just end on that. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.